if we press the button, our image comes up. It's mass programming here. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is move this to the side. The reason I do this is just because I can make the screen look bigger if I do this. And now we're going to head over to activity main, which is right here. And we're just going to add an image view button. I'm just going to place it right here. You can put it wherever you want. And for this image, I'll take a, let's just say I'll take an avatar. It should be loading up and it's right here. Now what I'm going to do is set the constraints. Everything should be good now. I'll move the hello world up there. We won't be needing it. Just only the image view and the button. I'm going to leave the button right here. This should be great right here where it is. Oh, I have to set the constraints. Make sure you set the constraints or Android Studio will say you have an error. Now, what I'm going to do is give image view an ID. I'll just put it as avatar. And for button, oh, it tells me to refactor. Okay. What this does, it just it sets it into stone, sets it into place. And button, I'll leave the ID as button. Now, if we want to change the image view, we're going to have to change it with another image. So you can get whatever image you want. What I'm going to do, I already have an image ready. I just put Android. I'm going to get this one right here. So I'll press save image as. I already have a folder. I'll put, I'll name it Arter. Just anything simple. And once I do that, I'm going to open the file and I'm going to copy the image. Make sure you copy the image. And then we're going to head right back to Android Studio. Open up your res folder right here. Click the drawable and then right click the drawable. And then you're going to press new. No, no, you're going to press paste. I'm sorry for that. Press OK. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as Arter. I press OK. So now that Arter's is in the drawable, I'll show you how to use it. We're going to go to main activity, Java. And we're going to initialize the widgets first. So image view. image view I'll name it as that then button button now we're going to give them their IDs image view equals find view that RD this is basically gonna get the IDs that you put so it can sync it with the image view or whatever widget that you're using I'm gonna put r.id dot the ID that I gave it, which was Arter, Avatar. We're going to do the same thing for button. Button. Find view by ID. R dot ID. And whatever ID you gave it. Next, since we're going to be clicking a button to change it, I'm going to set an on click listener. What this does. It just it does whatever function you want it to do after the user clicks the button so I'm gonna type button dot set on click listener and I'm gonna type new view and then it's gonna automatically place this for me so what we're gonna do once the button is clicked we're gonna put image view dot set image I'm sorry I was trying to put this instead of this remember to do to type what you name I was typing something else I apologize for that I'm supposed to type this so I'm gonna put image view 
dot set you see now that it, it turns purple now that I type the right thing I'm gonna put dot set image resource dot R R because we're going into the resource folder we're gonna put dot drawable because we're gonna be inside because rest or the, the drawable is inside the R folder so it's like we're going in order we're gonna go to res then we're gonna go to drawable and then we're gonna put dot the name of our image that we want to change it with dot order just like that it will work now what I'm gonna do is start up the emulator if you don't know how to set up your own emulator I'll make a video on that I'm gonna load up the emulator and I'm gonna speed right to it so you don't have to wait if we press the button our image comes up or whatever image you used congratulations guys we did it if you enjoyed this tutorial go on ahead and go to my channel and check out the other ones mass programmer out